hello guys you watching droid crunch and in this video we are going to talk about off canvas menu for your elementor website for the purpose of this video i am using dynamic content for elementor plugin and in this plugin you can get off canvas you know widget for your menu uh, before we start this video let me show you a quick interface of dynamic content for elementor if you have not downloaded this plugin, you can download this from dynamic.ribble.o. I will leave a link in the description, an affiliate link. So if you purchase, I will also get some commission out of it. So you can download the plugin from that link only. And I am using this widget called off canvas from interface. So make sure this is enabled in your elemental dynamic content and widget settings so if it doesn't show uh, probably this might be you know false so sorry this one so let's start this video let me show you the page the testing page or a new page probably here i name it off canvas Uh, sometimes uh, the element doesn't load in the left side all the widgets take a lot of time to load so to overcome this problem you can increase the memory limit of your website you can see that I am having a lot and lot of you know widgets right on this panel so uh, I have already you know increased my PHP memory limit that's why I'm not encountering issues but if you do you need to you know increase the limit of your PHP memory so let's you know resume our video first let me just uh, remove this off canvas by using this page layout elemented full width okay here you go uh, i already already have a navigation so let me you know show you by just adding a section right here and i search animated off canvas menu so this is from dynamic o and i just uh, drag and drop it here here you can see its icon here you can choose the menu that will be shown when it is clicked so for now there is nothing and uh, to see all the changes i will recommend you click on this and then you know use any of the settings i have already a menu i will just choose this menu and here you can see it uh, you can you know uh, increase the depth level it's uh, for the hierarchy purpose for your menu itself sub menu or all that and you can choose the menu uh, icon alignment and menu position and whether you want a side background or not and a template after menu template after menu is just a template that will show after the menu on the side let me quickly show you this i you know enable this and then choose a menu i already have a template of canvas so when I click this, boom. So here is my template file, right? And animation timing, you can change all these settings from right here. You can probably decrease the opening, you know, millisecond time and all that to overcome the loading time and all that issues. Apart from that, there are some styling options that let you uh, change the width of your menu right so it's very less now but you can probably increase it so you get more space for your template to show and here you can you know uh, play with your menu alignment typography items typography sub items so you can change font size all that with the settings and children indicator size you can change from here and here are the colors for your background like this background only it's currently white so i can make it red or anything depending upon the you know color of your website you can choose any global color from here i don't have any global colors apart from the default color itself uh, you can also use any image probably this image so it will be shown behind that you can use any image and 
you can also play with the image settings like position attachment repeat and size and you can also play with this settings over active and normal for text color purpose right to change the color of this text you will have to you know, change the template right and indicator color indicator background I don't have any indicators of now so you can change the spacing and all that you can also change the menu icon styling from this you know section and here you can choose the side background we already have menu background we can also use the side background from here probably you can we can choose any color right like this you might have seen on many websites uh, something like this right so it also looks good blend it or you can also use an image voila that's great you can you know make it on no repeat and size to cover so it looks cool now right so it just for your showcase you can you know design it uh, the way you want right and it will work very very smooth with an animation for both your uh, desktop and mobile you can also change all these close button settings you can enable or disable it you can change the you know text version image or an icon that is used by default you can change the background color and all that for your button so there are all the options there you can you know choose change the positioning by x y here so it looks more better now so you have to play with that you can do all the things so I hope you enjoyed this video there are all the bunch of options that you can you know customize to you know achieve the results that you want so if you are encountering any issue then you can you know uh, write down comment below and I will definitely reply you within 24 hours so hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel we need your support and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever a new video is uploaded till then bye bye and have a wonderful day